Hi everybody, it's Phil Wright. Today is um, Saturday, September 16th. Um, it is day three in Las Vegas at the Alien Event Convention. And uh, I'm kind of done for the day from with my booth. And it's really been, it's been a very interesting event for me, a very interesting experience. I spoke yesterday morning at 1130. It wasn't a large crowd in the room, but uh, it was really, it was a great experience uh, to speak with, with people who are searching, um, trying to get answers in their life for some of the unexplained things that they've seen, heard, or even experienced. Uh, and I met some wonderful people. Uh, but the, the most interesting thing for me so far has been at my booth, as I have talked with people about um, our recent book that um, I wrote with my dear friend Rick Nelson, Return from Risa, Book One, Angels and Aliens. Um, it's just been, it's been a really wonderful experience meeting different people. Now, mind you, this is a conference um, primarily about aliens, and a lot of you watching this would think it's pretty strange, and you know, truthfully, it is. There, are, I, I met a lot of people who have some beliefs and ideas that are very, very foreign to me. Um, but instead of just me just judging them and saying, oh, no, that's crazy or whatever, I just, I'm now at the point in my life where I, I really don't need to be the judge of what other people think or believe or claim they've experienced. It, it doesn't matter to me whether or not it's true or accurate. It really doesn't. Um, I'm okay letting people believe or think whatever they want. And, and most of the time, a lot of the time, if not most of the time, it's probably accurate. Other times, uh, some of the things I've heard at this conference with people, I, you know, I, I question the validity of the experience that they claim. But it doesn't change me or who I am, what I believe, or what I know to be true. And the great thing for me is I've been able to share my belief and testimony in a heavenly father who is the God of the universe, the, the ultimate creator. And so many times in the last couple of days, I have been able to testify that we do have a heavenly father who knows us, who loves us, who cares about us, and has sprinkled his children throughout the universe. And he's put us on worlds without number. And it's been kind of interesting to see the reaction I get from people because some people, when you start talking about God, they kind of turn off. And, and only literally maybe two people out of scores of people I've met so far at this conference kind of did that thing where they turned off. But most people, I really pay attention to their eyes and their face as I'm testifying that there's a God who loves us and knows us and created us um, and beings just like us throughout the universe and maybe beings that don't look a lot like us throughout the universe either way they're his creations but when i i've had the opportunity to testify of my belief for and love for god and many times i have the opportunity as the spirit moves to testify of jesus christ um, it has been amazing to see the light come on in people's eyes, primarily those who used to believe in God, but because of life's experiences and some unexplained supernatural type things and the things they see on social media or watch on YouTube, and, and there's a lot of strange stuff out there, have taken people and kind of pushed them away from believing in God. And I firmly believe that it is that belief in God, a higher being, a higher power, that grounds us as humans and gives us some safety in the world around us and knowing that we're, we're really not alone and there is a supreme creator and he is aware. 
And when people push that away out of their lives, they realize there's something missing. Something very valuable and important is missing. I probably have had at least a half a dozen people, and it's mostly been women, at least a half a dozen of them hugging me and crying when I share my testimony of God the Father, the creator of the universe. And several of them have thanked me for having the courage at an event like this to talk about God and to remind them how important God is in their life and to help them focus more on their belief in God and kind of step back from the convoluted beliefs that man is now throwing on our society. We have more strange beliefs and ideas on our, in our society than we ever have before. And I'm not talking about aliens. I'm not talking about beings from other worlds. I'm talking about the people on this planet, the evil and misguided people who are trying to change reality. They're trying to change the fact that God created humans, male and female, and brings them together to create offspring, children, a family. I'm talking about this type of thing where society is totally trying to smear reality and convince us that there's a whole range of, of uh, sexual gender. I, I am amazed at how many people I met that are dealing with those types of issues with friends and family members. Now, I'm not saying this to make a judgment on those people who have struggled with sexual gender identity or who've uh, transitioned or whatever. That's not my point. My point is the people that I've been talking to and the conversations I've been having, most of them center around all of the confusion that is in the world today. And who is the author of confusion? Satan, the adversary. That's how he succeeds by creating chaos and confusion in society. And we live in a society that is right now overwhelmed with chaos and confusion. So I've questioned many times in the last few days, why did I come to this event? Yes, I wrote a book, Return from Risa, and yes, it's called Angels and Aliens, and yes, it's talking about UFOs and beings from other worlds, but it's definitely not the typical alien book because it does talk about God and it talks about Jesus Christ from the perspective of beings on another world who testify that they are real and that they exist and that they have a purpose and that we have a purpose. So I know that coming to this event, um, that there was a reason, because I, I almost backed out at the last minute when I met some of the people who would be here. Not that they're not good people, but they're, some of their ideas and beliefs are so, so far different than mine. And I should say their experiences or the things that they claim that I was feeling a little uncomfortable coming to this event. But I knew that I needed to be there. And now I'm, I think I'm realizing why. Because I've had the opportunity to remind people that they're not alone, that there is a God, and He knows them personally, individually, and intimately. He wants them to be happy. He wants them to feel joy in their lives. And the only way they can be happy or to feel joy in their lives is to trust in him and turn to him when things get tough and when they're in this world of confusion. So even though this hasn't been incredibly successful in terms of the amount of books I've sold, because the attendance has been very low at this event, I think the success for me is being able to share my testimony of our Father in Heaven and His Son, Jesus Christ. And truly, there is nothing more empowering than that, to know that and to share that with others and to see their countenance change when they recognize that. 
So I am grateful that I came, even though it has been the most unique conference I've ever attended. I've truly met some wonderful people who are truly searching and many who are very lost. And I've had this incredible opportunity to help some kind of get back on that path. And how wonderful it's been when we're embracing and kind of shedding a few tears when they recognize what was missing in their life all along as they've been searching.